What's up YouTube, Andre here guys, back with another video. Today guys, we're gonna be talking about the new Android Oreo update. Now, for those of you that are excited and really looking forward to it guys, this video is gonna be all about what to expect from the new Oreo update, some of the features, what's gonna be exclusive to Sony, and also when to expect the update guys. Now, if you guys don't really care about the new Oreo update, then uh, I'm gonna put a link to a, a one of my other videos that should be a little bit more interesting. But yeah guys, let's just get straight into the video. Now, as some of you may know, guys, the Google Pixel 2 and the Google Pixel 2 XL are going to be the first ones to get the new Oreo update. Why? Because the software itself is made by Google, the phone itself is made by Google, so obviously Google is going to be releasing it straight to its brand new phones. Also, guys, the reason it takes other software manufacturers such as Samsung, Huawei and Sony to release uh, updates is because they need to sort of make sure that it works specifically for their handsets. Each manufacturer likes to make it a little bit different and a bit unique and they need to make sure that it is definitely going to work well with their software. So hence the reason it takes a little bit longer. But anyway guys, Sony have actually been pretty good at releasing software updates, they've been pretty quick. They've probably been the next one after Google. Now Samsung are probably the worst for releasing updates guys. I know last year they took about 6 to 12 months, they kept postponing it. For whatever reason guys, it ended up being around 8 months later after the initial launch of Android 7. Now guys, according to TechRadar.com, the Oreo update has already been rolled out to Sony XZ Premium and this update has been specifically to the Middle East. Now they're also stating that it's underway to markets such as Hong Kong, Taiwan and Africa guys and other markets to follow soon. Now the thing that I'm excited about guys is that Sony are going to be bringing Oreo to a very wide range of handsets. Too many for me to read out so I'm just going to be listing them here and you guys can pause the video to go through them. Brilliant, so let's get onto the features of the new Oreo update and what to expect. Also, I'm gonna be mentioning exclusive features that are only available on the Sony handsets. So I think this needs a cool intro, so I'm gonna be putting some text now. Now, the first thing to really get excited about, guys, or not to get excited, depends on how you see it, is faster boot times. Now, Google are claiming twice as fast boot time when powering up the phone. Bear in mind, guys, that that was measured using the Google Pixel, so it can vary from handset to handset. Now, the next thing to get excited about is what Google are calling superpower you can't even see, also known as background limits. Now, this means that Oreo will minimize background activity on apps that you use the least. Essentially, that's gonna lead to increased battery life, increased performance, because things are not working in the background that you don't need. Or don't want. Now the third thing guys that Google are excited about with the new Oreo is autofill. Now I know what you guys are thinking, hasn't this already been done? Isn't this already on Android 7? It is guys. Now it is available on Chrome so you can autofill in uh, personal data like passwords and stuff like that. However guys what Google wants to do is to bring this to all other apps such as uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, social media apps, all other apps that you can log into and essentially it's going to make the login process faster because you can autofill that. Now the next feature guys is called picture in picture. Now Google say that this is going to allow you to see two apps at once. Um, I really don't understand how this differs from your current multitasking. So for instance, when you are splitting the screens, surely that's still seeing two apps at the same time. However, what I think they're talking about is actually being able to have an app on top of another app and move that around. Uh, so essentially you have two windows open at the same time on top of each other. Now guys, I love changes. I always love getting a new software on my phone. It makes my phone feel different, feel new, and always look forward to new software updates. Now the next feature guys, I'm super, super excited about. It's called fewer taps. Now the way Google described this is on apps that provide notifications to your phone, you're gonna have a little dot in one of the corners. And if you tap on that dot guys, you're gonna be able to see the notifications without actually opening the app. You're gonna see your recent notifications and it's also gonna allow you to dismiss them so you don't have to open the app and it should speed things up. So hence the reason fewer taps. Really excited about that, really looking forward to that guys. I guess this is something to match up with Apple's force touch. So when you force touch on an app to bring you extra options, that's Google's way of speeding things up. Now guys, I'm really looking forward to the new Oreo update. I can't wait for it to come out. However, if you do have a Sony, there are gonna be some exclusive features to Sony handsets. Now, I'm not sure which Sony handsets it'll be available to. However, I do know that it will be on the Sony XZ1 and the XZ Premium for sure. Now, I'm gonna let that sink in a little bit, guys, and just let your imaginations run wild. 3D scanning, how exciting does that sound? So having a handset such as an XA1 or an XZ Premium, guys, you'll be able to take three-dimensional scans of faces, so people, as well as objects that can be printed using a 3D printer or uploaded to social media, guys. Now, I did try one of the early releases of the 3D scanner, guys, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Let me tell you, I had somebody take a 3D scan of 
my head and place that head on a virtual body. It was very exciting. They got me to do some funny, quirky things, things like dancing and gymnastics and stuff like that. Now imagine being able to do that, guys, and uploading your 3D scans to social media, guys. It's gonna open up a next level of fun, guys, and it's gonna be super, super exciting. So really looking forward to that. So that's what to expect from the new Oreo update guys, really looking forward to that and I would love to hear what your favourite features are and what you guys are looking forward to. Leave everything in the comments down below, I'm going to read all of them because I'm very very excited about that. Now if you guys like this video and find it useful, hit that like button guys, if you really really like the video, smash that subscribe button here or here, not sure whichever way it's going to go. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a wicked day.